Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment six for the course for GCET logic and system and application. In this assignment, uh, there are two formulas are used: Sujino class of complement and Yager's class of complement. Uh, as per Sujino class of complement, this is the formula, and uh, in this there is a parameter lambda, and lambda values lie in this range. but the value of lambda minus 1 and infinity not included and one more specific things about this formula is that if lambda becomes 0 in that case it becomes a simple complement just we have to subtract uh, from the 1 that specific uh, membership function value so this is the question 1 for a fuzzy set a given below the membership function value of generic variable x3 so in this question generic variable value is x3 after applying sugino class of complement lambda 0 so this is the our formula and according to that formula uh, lambda equal equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 so this is our given question and in this question x is equal to 1 that is 1 2 and 3 Okay, and mu one that is membership value of uh, membership function value one is equal to point one. So one and its membership function value is point one. Uh, two its membership function value is point five. Three and its membership function value is one. So just we have to put the value of lambda and uh, x three in this particular formula, and we will get the answer. so in this question in this uh, the value will be equal to 0 so this is the correct answer this one so in the same fashion uh, just we have to change the value of lambda and x and we got the answer question 2 in this question value of lambda is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 when we put this formula uh, value in the particular formula it gives uh, value at lambda 0 and x is equal to 1 that is 0.9 so this is the correct answer 0.9 so option a is the correct answer for question 2 question 3 uh, lambda equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 basically in this assignment uh, there are three values are considered lambda is equal to 0 for first three question and uh, for next three question lambda is equal to 1 and uh, for next three question lambda is equal to 2 and for each value of lambda uh, x is equal to 1 2 and 3 so when lambda is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 and when we put uh, in this formula it will gives us the answer 0.5 so option b is the correct answer question 4 now lambda becomes 1 so first three question it is 0 but for next uh, three question it will be 1 so lambda is equal to now 1 so and x is equal to 2 so 1 minus 0.5 0.5 that is uh, x is equal to 2 uh, corresponding to this what is the membership value that is 0.5 1 plus now this one is equal to lambda and multiplied by the membership value 0.5 so 1 minus 0.5 it becomes 0.5 and 1 plus 1 multiply 0.5 that it becomes 1.5 so final answer is 0.33 therefore uh, option um, d is the correct answer question number 5 same lambda is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 in this case x is equal to 1 lambda is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 just put the formula Uh, just put the value in the formula and uh, we got that uh, value will be equal to 0.818 so correct answer is option c question number 6 uh, in this lambda is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 just put the value in the formula and we get the answer 0 therefore correct answer is option a question number 7 lambda is equal to 2 for question number 7 8 9 so lambda will be equal to 2 and uh, for lambda 2 uh, value of x will be 1 2 3 <coughs> so in this particular question lambda 2 and x is equal to 2 so this is the value of lambda 2 uh, 
and a co and membership function value for the element 2 is equal to 0.5 just put the value and answer will be 0.25 so option a is the correct answer question 8 now lambda is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1 lambda is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1 put this value into the formula and again answer correct answer is 0 0.75 0 0.75 therefore option b is correct option question number 9 same formula and in this case lambda is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 put this value and uh, we got the answer 0 so option c is the correct option question number 10 now this question is based upon Yager's class of complement Yager's class of complement and this question is uh, uh, wrong because uh, this is the formula for Yager's uh, laws of complement CW mu a x 1 minus mu a x raised to the power w and volts raised to the power 1 upon w now this is the range of w that w will be in between 0 and infinity but value of w cannot be 0 and infinity value of w cannot be 0 and infinity because 0 and infinity are excluded but values in between this they can be considered now when but in the question what is asked uh, yagas class of complement with w equal to 0 but actually it should be w is equal to 1 now what will be happen when w equal to 0 put this into this formula so 1 upon w means 1 upon 0 that it becomes infinity 1 upon 0 1 upon 0 that it becomes infinity and it is not possible uh, to evaluate the question therefore I am considering value of w is equal to 1 and according to that option B is the correct answer because when note uh, when w is equal to 1 then it becomes 1 minus mu a x it means some simply we have to take the complement of the membership value so 0.1 complement value will be 0.9 right uh, value 0.5 its complement value will be 0.5 right and 1 its complement value will be 0 therefore option b will be correct if w is equal to 1 and if w will be equal to 0 then this question will be invalid definitely it will be valid if this will be 0 so w can't be 0 and uh, because it is already mentioned value of w lie in the range 0 to infinity but both these value are excluded right so this is the final solution for the assignment 6 and uh, in the last assignment accuracy was 100% and I am 100% sure in this assignment accuracy will be 100% thank you so much